Okay, so you bought the top of the line RTX 3090 Ti, the best RTX 3000 series card out there, but you're still not happy, you want more performance. Well, thankfully, I understand your issues because I have the same issues. So here we are increasing the performance of this card. Now, this tutorial is actually gonna work for most RTX 3000 series card with a very high cooling system. Now, little disclaimer, if you have an air-cooled card, like this one, you can follow this tutorial, sure, but uh, you probably are gonna get more benefits if you do some undervolting. And I have a tutorial on this exact PC with this exact card. That's gonna work for every RTX 3080 Ti, 3090, 3090 Ti on the market. And I do actually recommend you do undervolt. However, if you do have an exotic cooling system, for example, a card with an all-in-one water cooling loop, like the Water Force from MSI, etc., or if you have a custom water cooling loop, like we have here today in this PC, then it's actually worth it to overclock. Okay, let's not fool around. So with that said, I say we go straight straight into the tutorial, but first, promise me one thing. If the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub to support the channel, okay? With that said, let's go. Now, this is gonna be a serious tutorial, so you're gonna need Heaven Benchmark and MS Afterburner. I will have both of them down in the description. Now, double click on Heaven Benchmark, uncheck the full screen option and run it. While it's running, open up MS Afterburner on top of it, okay? And now with just these two, we're gonna overclock our card. Now, you're probably gonna say, hey, but I don't have an MSI card. Why do I need MS Afterburner? Well, because this software is the best and it works with every card. It's not MSI dependent, okay? First off, the basics. So how does overclocking work? First off, we remove some of the limits on our card. Second off, we find where it crashes. Then we dial it a bit back. Pretty simple in theory, not as simple in practice. Also, there is a big chapter on overclocking validation. I actually have a video on the channel discussing why sometimes you overclock more and you lose performance. Uh, but again, if you're following my recommendations, if you're here, it's because you have a very well-cooled card. So you're probably not gonna encounter those issues. So let's go ahead. Step one, all of you have to do this. Just unlock your power limit to the maximum. Just slide it all the way to the right. In my case, we can only go to 106 and hit apply. Now, if you want to go more on the power limit, um, you're gonna get more performance, but you're gonna need the different BIOS. So if you want me to do a, like a BIOS flashing tutorial, I can do it, but it's, uh, you know, a bit risky. I mean, not really, but slightly risky, but today we're staying safe, okay? Now, another step, this is gonna be controversial, but just unlock the core voltage, okay? This is not actually giving the card more voltage, but it's actually just allowing the card to use all the slider. I mean, it's good for this kind of cards, okay? And now we actually start to do the overclocking. So we're gonna go up in 100 megahertz at a time on the core clock until the card crashes. And it's not gonna take long. So let's start with 100, hit apply. We have the card running for a while. We see if it crashes, it's not crashing. Let's try 200 and I truly expect a crash. Let's see. Yes. As you can see, hard crash, the PC froze. So you can see that you don't have to panic if the PC crashes. So now you just reset it and the stability is somewhere in between. So we try 150 and see if it crashes again. Okay, 150 is not working either. At this point, we try 125, see if it crashes. Okay, 125 is stable. This means that 100, okay, sorry, 125 crashed. Yes. So 100 is probably not stable either. So we're gonna settle on 80, plus 80 megahertz. So if you wanna copy it, just copy 80, okay? It's very quick, just uh, overclocking determination method. So you just uh, increase it until it crashes and dial it back. 80 is gonna be where it's at because the 3090 Ti, to be honest, is already very much pushed. So memory, now here we go up in 200 at a time, but uh, let's start from 800, okay? Because 800, works for everybody. So at this point, it's not crashing. Let's go at 1000. Let's see if 1000 works. It's working. Let's try 1200. 1200 is working. Let's try 1400. Even this is working. Okay, we have a pretty good card here on ends. 16, still working. 1800, crash. Hard crash, artifacting. Okay, so let's just dial it back. Everything froze, don't panic, it's all normal. So on the memory, you want to have a bit more headroom. So from where it crashes, I like to dial it down 400 points. So in our cases, if you wanna be extra sure, we're gonna just settle 
with 80, 1200, this thing unlocked, these unlocked, hit apply, save it on the first profile, hit apply, enable it to start with Windows, go into settings, start with Windows, start minimized, hit OK, and this is going to be it. Now, to validate this, you want to play games. If it crashes, you want to lower the settings even more. Okay, so do this, do some nice validation, and this is how you overclock the card. Pretty simple, to be honest, and it's gonna give you a nice FPS increase. So guys, if it was helpful, even though it was a bit quick, please drop a like and a sub. Again, if you want to see the content more in depth, I have more videos on the channel, I recommend you check them out. I have them divided by playlists, and I also do build videos out there. So I hope to see you guys again, and uh, take care. Goodbye.